Khan Academy line plots and we're working on interpret line plots with fraction addition and subtraction. The amount of rain that fell in Tokyo, Japan for three consecutive days is shown in the table below. The measurements are rounded to the nearest half of a centimeter. So we can see here's one of the days, another day, and another day. So what was the total rainfall during these three days? So we need to know what is three and a half plus three and a half. Well, for me, I can do three plus three is six, and a half plus a half would be another one. So adding these two up would be seven, and then I have to add this to it. So seven, eight, nine, and then add that half. So nine and a half. Now, could I have written all of this out and done three and a half plus three and a half? And I would have gotten two over two and six. And I would have known that that's a seven and then adding my two and a half. So we could have written it all out. If you can add it in your head, then that's definitely okay to do. So our total here is nine and a half centimeters because we're adding each of the days. Gino records how much milk his family drinks each week in February. He graphs the volumes to the nearest one fourth of a gallon on the line plot below. So here you can see that they did one and a half and another day of one and a half, a week, excuse me. They did a week of two and one fourth and a week of three and three fourths. What is the total volume of milk Gino's family drank on the two weeks where they drank the most milk? Well, the two weeks they drank the most milk are here and here because they drank three and three fourths and two and one fourth. Now don't get confused with the fact that that there's two dots here because we're still looking for the biggest, the most amount they drank. So we need to add two and one fourth and three and three fourths. So when I do that, I get one fourth plus three fourths is four fourths and two plus three is five and five and four fourths, four fourths is really a whole. So I'm gonna make that into one whole, so it's gonna be a total of six gallons. The weights of 11 different babies are recorded on the line plot below. Each weight was rounded to the nearest one eighth of a pound. So when we look at this, each of these blue dots is a different baby and how much they weighed. What is the difference in weight between the two heaviest babies? So not the ones that where you had the most weighing that amount, it's the heaviest. So here, this is our first baby that's the heaviest, and here is our next baby that's the heaviest. Okay, so when I look here, I can see that this baby is definitely eight and a half. Okay, and then my heaviest baby, that looks a little bit trickier. I'm actually gonna erase what I did here so that we can see it. So this is nine and this is nine and a half. And if I look in between, so that's one, two, three, four spaces in between. So that would be like, I could think about this as like four eighths. So that would be in between there would be one fourth. So here I have nine, and one fourth. Okay, so how did I figure out one fourth? Because halfway between this half, so nine and nine and a half, halfway between is one fourth. And then we can think about that because we can think, okay, well, if this was two fourths, halfway between nine and two fourths would be one fourth. So now we have to go ahead and subtract those because it wants to know the difference in weight. So I'm going to go ahead and make my common denominators. I'm gonna make this out of four. So two times two is four. One times two is two. So now I have one fourth take away two fourths, which I can't do. 
So I'm going to borrow and make this an 8. And if I take away that 1, I'm going to make that 1 over here 4 fourths because 4 fourths is a whole. So now on the top here, I have 5 fourths take away 2 fourths, which would give me 3 fourths. And then 8 take away 8 is 0. So my final answer is going to be 3 fourths. The masses of four samples of baking soda are measured to perform an experiment in science class. So here are the four samples of baking soda. What is the total number of grams of baking soda in all five in all four samples, excuse me? So first, I look here and I see these two are both five, so I can do that. That's 10. Okay, then I look here and I say, okay, well, can I add three and a half and two and a half? Sure I can. Three and a half and two and a half. A half plus a half would be two over two. Three plus two is five. That two over two is actually a whole, so that's gonna be six here, plus my 10, so my total would be 16.